news that will change your world from the University of Calgary, U of C. This is now. We were introduced to CADS and they had an idea, they had, they had a problem, an obstacle they wanted to address within their programs uh, with regards to making the sport accessible. And we were brought in as a group of design students from the University of Calgary to help look at this problem and see if we could find a solution to it. Our solution was to design a new sit ski, something that was specifically targeted towards learning programs such as the ones offered by CADS here at COP and involved lower cost, easier maintenance, and a domestic manufacturing that could be done uh, with very slim margins. And so a perfect way to give back to the community and to introduce new people to the sport. This will be my fourth time on it. Uh, I've done a few iterations with them. Uh, and it's been fantastic. From the first day I got into it, I just jumped in and was able to ski down the bunny hill with problems. Well, I think it's fantastic it's done in Calgary. Uh, they've really listened to what you know people said about it. They've kept it lightweight. They've kept it affordable. Uh, weight has always been an issue for me. My ski weighs probably 50 to 20 pounds more. Uh, it's maneuverable and uh, it's just fully functional. It's, there's no issues with it. It's been a collaboration among members of the community. And so as a group of students, we've collaborated. We've worked as designers in industrial design. We've worked with engineers at the Schulich School. We've worked with local manufacturers, people who've helped us out a great deal. And uh, the University of Calgary has been a great help to us in commercializing and helping us along with the business case and prototype development and so on. And we're looking to showcase our product at the Paralympics coming up in 2010 in Whistler. And from there, we'd like to ship our first units to ski programs across Canada in the fall of 2010. And hopefully we'll see them in use all across Canada and in the northern United States and wherever they have ski programs.